Today's video will be a body weight recovery sequence. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more movement content. Start by getting yourself into a comfortable child's pose position. Take a couple deep breaths, situate the body, stretch if need be, just taking a quick couple extra seconds to settle in before we begin our body weight routine. We're going to start the sequence off with a kneeling spinal wave, alternating between the spinal wave and the bottom of your cow. Untucking the pelvis, tucking underneath as you push back, reaching your body forward as you press and stretch through those shoulder blades, soft bend in the elbows, fingertips gripping the ground, using that breath. You have the option here to open up your body for a little bit of exploratory play with the hands, with the wrists, as you continue to alternate back and forth between the bottom of your cow and your spinal wave. We're going to begin transitioning our spine side to side, drawing and leading with the shoulders first, adding a bend into the elbows, drawing the chest down. Hands can be open or fists can be closed. As we start to draw up, we're going to lift the toes, flexing through the quads, drawing the shoulders down and back. Begin to send the elbows down, pulling the floor apart, elongating through the spine, and starting to draw our weight down, activating through the chest, getting the shoulders to align, creating some full tension throughout the body. Taking an extra moment to draw our body all the way to the top. Releasing that energy as we draw back down into a child's pose and release that energy even further by flipping the tops of the hands over and rolling the elbows down, letting the hands flip back over, palms facing down, let your head draw to the earth. Taking an inhale and an exhale, you'll take that shoulder and chop it across the body, pinning the pinky side down. Option here is to reach and grab for the torso. We're grabbing for the back of the neck and pressing hips straight back. On your next inhale to exhale, you'll reach that hand up and let that shoulder fall to the ground. Again, allowing yourself for some exploratory play. In between, you'll come back to your tabletop. Same arm is going to twist into a needle thread. Your opposite arm can draw up Plugging that shoulder into the body, corkscrewing the hand, focusing on your breath, your inhale, and on your exhale, maybe drawing that hand down and around, half semicircles, or if you can, if you feel called to do so, a full circle before you reach back up, opening that chest, and letting that hand hold to the chest for some semicircles before coming back down into the twist utilizing the able to plant into the floor and reaching back up extending on that exhale and resetting the shoulders the hips and transitioning to the other side into your needle thread focusing on the breath reaching that opposite hand up and over Taking your time, leading with the elbow as you reach back up. Again, I like to use this time to really just loosen up the body in between even the stretches and breaths. You'll notice I'll take a couple of shoulder rolls, shake of the hips or roll of the neck. Allow your body to lead the way on what it needs here. Allowing for a couple more deep inhales coming back up out of position. Take these next few seconds to just stretch and open the body however you see fit. If you feel any extra places where you feel stuck or sore, let's give it some extra love. And when you're ready, you can reset into a kneeling pose and recenter with a couple of breaths. Pulling from the belly, feeling that energy draw up from the root into the navel, 
into the chest, through the throat, breathing out that ujjayi breath, a little bit more audible. Allowing the soothing sensation of that breath to wash over the body as you reach the hands up, extending the hands forward to pull the hips underneath you. Reaching one hand overhead, one hand posting into the ground, for that nice and gentle side bend, allowing the neck to look down towards the ground, flossing up to the sky, going into a slight back bend to hinge, pressing my hands into my lower sacrum to encourage my hips to stay tucked underneath, driving with the hips spinal waving to a half kneeling, then pressing hips back and forth. Maybe you allow the hips to experiment a little bit here, feeling the tension in the quads, and then coming down to release that tension. I'll semi-circle with the knees to encourage rotation before I go into a quad flex. I'll tuck the pelvis underneath me here as I lift my heel towards my bum, opening up those hip flexors, trying to keep the hips square here as I also press backwards with the majority of my weight. Breathing deeply into that stretch, I'll untuck to release, untuck the pelvis back, and then exhaling, tuck under back into that stretch. And, and I'll hold that for about 15 to 20 seconds before transitioning out and extending that same leg forward, pressing back to open up my hamstrings as well. I like to support my weight and square my hips as best I can and really just opening myself up again for some play, pressing hips back and forth and I'll keep a knee down because that keeps my body pretty safe when I'm challenging my range of mobility. Pressing back to reset in a child's pose. I'll take a couple extra seconds here in the half kneeling to reset and check in with the tension that I'm holding within my hips, drawing the ribs down, and ensuring that the hips are remaining square, both hip pointers for facing forward, not allowing any rotation from the hips or the torso, and taking a couple extra seconds to breathe before dropping into the opposite side. Dropping straight into the hamstring stretch, or you can drop into the quad stretch first, and then press back and forth into the hamstrings. Just make sure that you're maintaining that slight tuck of the pelvis as you draw back and forth, focusing on your breath in between transitions. Thank you so much for joining me on this breakdown. I'll see you in the next video.